designer and mm -hmm. you're putting your portfolio together. Yeah. What's the one thing that nobody tells you? Start with you know, getting me attracted uh -huh. to you and your way. Pick your best best products and pick the best mm -hmm. pictures. You know. Yeah. Treat them well, render them well. Even if you're a UX designer and you don't have maybe um, any skills to do UI, yeah. etc. Take the product, whatever product you did, and package it in a nice way. So I get excited. A lot of <clears throat> a lot of portfolios that I encounter start in the beginning of the process, mm -hmm. and then they end with the product, which is like, you know, it's too late. You know, you, know, you should yeah. pop me immediately. Start with the heroes. Whatever is beautiful and makes me feel something, right. and then you can talk about the process. Right. But try to keep the process short because I've seen quite a few, at least when it comes to students, because they only have their student projects. They're doing, they're showing everything. Most people that they are uh, sending the portfolios to have very little time to look at it. So they have to find a way of making it look sexy in mm -hmm. the beginning so that I even care from yeah. the first place. Yeah. That's gonna, that's gonna, I'm gonna carry that, I'm gonna carry that feeling with me. I think. And then break the steps down in understandable units short form mm -hmm. and then you can of course leave a section there for you know showing all the work you did all the interviews and persons yeah. and whatnot but you have to pack it up because nobody has time there's there, people are super busy uh, there's normally not a if you're searching or not searching if you're applying for agencies that they might not have HR uh, HR staff yeah. you know so they they have to go through all these things yeah. themselves and if it's a good agency they get a lot of application so make so sure you need that to like Catch me, uh, whatever way you can do. Yeah. That. You know, fool me to believe that your, uh, what you, whatever you did is better than, right. than it actually was. Okay. So I think that's the first thing. Okay. Start with the love part. You want to see, depending on where you are in the UX, gebiet, mm -hmm. you can be uh, everything from a researcher mm -hmm. to basically a data mm -hmm. analyst, right? Mm -hmm. But and everything in between. Sometimes you are focused on graphic design as well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're more focused on business logic. Mm -hmm. Um, make sure that it's easy for uh, the one that is going to read your portfolio what exactly you have done mm. in the process and in the pro in the project. Not by showing everything you've done, but by telling specifically. Let's say you have the the name, the title of mm. the project, and then you say, "I was involved in wireframing, research, yeah. and UI. Yeah. So responsible for this, yeah. this, and that." Yeah. Short form, so that I understand that what I'm looking at here is first of all. Uh, your work right or I can identify what's yours yeah because if I can't if that right. takes me a while a lot of portfolios are just full of pictures uh, that you know. yeah pictures that you, where, where you know that there has been a number of people involved. yeah and uh, if I can't make anything out of where mm -hmm. you sort of fit into that equation I might just leave it because yeah. like, I don't know maybe they just put it here to for show off right you know? So be very specific. Even if you did very little, be very specific about that little part because okay. that shows that you're honest about it yeah. at least, you know, and yeah. that you understand the process of a lot of people working together. Exactly. So it's it's very important. It sounds like to have kind of a like to really bear in mind like who is going to look at my portfolio and what kind of of um, you know mindset or or how much time will that person have? Um, exactly. And he or she will probably be looking at. A large number of portfolios at mm. the same time, so mm. it's important to kind of frame the the thought because <clears throat> if you understand exactly what you did or what I did, for example, as a designer, then you can you can you can also start you know applying that to what you would kind of need me to do. Yeah, working for you. Exactly, that's right. And if you're presenting to, I mean, of course, you don't know necessarily who's going to read your portfolio, no. but. But you should understand what kind of requirements is uh, imposed upon the role. Yeah. yeah. And uh, if you do, focus on getting those aspects out, mm -hmm. um, and be very specific about the fact that you have done dealt with exactly what you get to look at. Yeah. And if you haven't, yeah. If you don't have anything in the portfolio, but you really feel that this could be a job where I can, you know, excel yeah. if I do, if you just give me a chance, be very honest about that too. Right. Be super honest about yeah. that. That's that would be fantastic to see somebody say like, you know. Actually, honestly, I know extremely little about this. Yeah. I'm extremely passionate about working yeah. in these type of projects. Yeah. I, I'll take the lowest salary possible. I just want to get my foot in the door and prove mm -hmm. myself, you know? Um, Thank you so much, Marcus. Thank you. Bye.